Hey, this is Mateo Lane. I'm Emma Wilman. And this is Inside the Closet. Inside the Closet. You know what I say when I walk on stage now? I just say, uh, I'm gay, by the way. Right. And then I just move into my jokes. Because it's too much work to try and build this stupid bridge and this and that. At some point, I'm like, I'm gay. Now, can we get into Starbucks? You know, I just don't give and a shit. And you don't feel nervous saying that? No, but last night there was a very handsome man in the front row with his very annoying girlfriend. And uh, he was Puerto Rican and looked like Euro trash, so it's my type. Right. And he, I just, I don't know why I still get, like, nervous. Sometimes I feel like I'm still coming out every night on stage. Or, like, I'm, clo- even though I'm talking about being gay, I'm closeting myself. Yep. Totally. And then I'll always be like, oh, I don't want people to think this is what it's all about. There's just so much that goes into like, when I know, I first but then it's like, it. but that is our lives. Right. Like what would be wrong? I if- think, I think that, you know, it, it's our fear that we don't want to stay in the same topic all the time. Right. But the, the thing is, is like dating and then, you know, like how we dress and how we look and how we act and what we're into. It just happens to be gay. So if I'm the, if I'm the... Well, I guess we're not quite sure if you're, what um, the my lesbian, type is. And the, what, are, what type of gay are you? You're uh, you're a handsome, funny one. Well, let's not say let's not say things we can't take back. <laughs> I mean, uh, what kind of gay am I? Yeah, like if you were at a bar, if someone was like my type, like on Grinder, probably it, like an otter. What? Yeah, I've heard you say that. What does that mean? So uh, uh, that doesn't sound like a compliment. Uh, is it good? Well, nothing in the gay world sounds like a compliment, that, even though it is. An otter? Yeah. Are those considered attractive? Yeah. Well, it. I mean, depends on what you're into. I mean, turning into Wendy Williams. I know. Well, it depends <laughs> on what you're into. I, oh, yes. Um. I. Th- okay, so there's Bear, which everyone knows what a bear is. John Goodman, classic bear. He's sort of older. Ooh. He's he's bigger. He's got hair everywhere. Um. A cub is oh, a... Oh, God. A, thinking of John Goodman as a bear is real brutal. Well, I mean, have you been to the Eagle? No. It's John Goodman in a leotard walking around. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Oh. I've been to many of bear because my friend John in Chicago is so into bears. And it's like, and that's fine. But also, there's a weird bear cult thing that's going on where they have a bear flag and bear bars and bear this. So they've got and a lot of pride. Pride. And also, it's like the Scientology of the gays. It's like, well, I'm a bear. Or not. My friend John's into the fat on men's neck. I mean, it's a weird I mean, world. Do you think not he puts weird, his, but. Does he put his penis in the fat? The neck fat? I don't know. My friend um, who I grew up with, I found out, is a furry. And he taught me all about the furry world and how they're really into, like... But a furry isn't necessarily a subset of gay people, is it? No, but there's a lot of gays in the furry world, okay. I think. But the, they're they're very into, like, being really big and consumed by big I remember things. you telling me about the furry. Oh, yes. No, and I remember this because I had wanted to ask you. I don't really know your coming out story, but... But wait, so how did he come out to you as being a furry? So we're both artists. We grew up on the same block as each other. And I mean, I still love him. We're still like very close friends. I love him so much. Because coming out as a furry is fucking embarrassing. Well, and it, you would know imagine. what? It's so funny. And I'm into whatever, but that's like a tough. That's oh, we'll sweet. get into what you're into. Yeah. Because <laughs> last time we talked, you were in. T- the only way that you would have sex with a man, you said, is if he was really effeminate, butt up in the air. And then there was television screens all around of women saying that you're like the king yes still holds I true i a more str- i mean to me it's like maybe just like light a candle but your friend the furry so well, he comes out to you we've always drawn i mean i'm an artist and we've always drawn it he's a brilliant artist and he always loved drawing dinosaurs that was his thing and then we sort of lost touch a little bit when i was in college he's like I was now going i'm school. fucking him but then when i came back home and we would like draw on Skype with each other all day. And he was always draw- drawing like big fat months. Anyways, th- and one you never, day. Did you think it was weird? We were like, oh. I don't know what I thought of it. I just thought, well, he just likes to draw dinosaurs. I don't know. Did he ever have girlfriends or boyfriends? No, I don't even know what he, I don't even know if he's gay. Right. Oh my God. I know. Sexuality is so confusing. I know. Well, he certainly likes drawing dinosaurs. But he's the, uh, like, now that I go in that world, because every once in a while I will say, show me some new artwork that you're working on i get like i'm like a proud father like i get defensive and like say other drawing is a big thing in the furry world too is that like you have to draw your character does he dress up as the character yeah he's got a costume of it and you've seen the costume mm-hmm. that must have been very I've personal the, i've seen it in pictures actually i've never seen it in person is it like is his is there like skin showing or no it's like a giant cute tyrannosaurus rex costume and then he goes in and he meets up and then they rub they have each like other? conventions that part no they're just like convention is literally just like a renaissance fair but everyone's in furry costumes so when do the they sex, have sex thing i think is a uh, another part of the furry world that isn't all of the furry world oh god but so that it was is the like main... being gay a little bit where it's like 
like, oh, it's so not all because everyone jumps to the sex. They're like, oh, it's sex, sex. And it's like, no, it's more about like designing and doing your hair <laughs> exactly. and making your weddings look really good. That's what it's really about. The sex you know, comes second. Can I just say this? And mm. I, I, first of all, I'm going to say they're bringing back Queer Eye for the Straight Guy. It's really? a rumor that I heard. And I feel that that show, first of all, I love all the men on that show, but the, the that show was a catch 22. It made Americans see gays, you know, not like, they only knew gays as like dying of AIDS or being fisted in a basement. So it was the first time you saw gays like, you know, we're here to help. Right. Because it came out in like 2009. Oh my God. 2002. Okay. So that was, I remember that. I I, Because that came out before the L word. And I remember, actually that honestly was probably the first time I saw gay people on TV. Same. Besides C-3PO and Ellen. Right. (laughs) Which kind of, Ellen and C-3PO are kind of the same. Is C-3PO definitely out, or is he mate- mate- well, out, out about you? I know for sure that R2-D2 is a lesbian because she has a tool belt. you right, you right. So if you, so, but I didn't put it together at the time. Did you know she was a lesbian when you first saw uh, her? Hello, my name is R2-D2, and my wife Mateo's and I make our own water. Mateo's impressions of the lesbians are incredible. Uh, this is, yes, um, it's um, very... Uh, Mateo does a better lesbian than I do. Uh, well, of course. Um, I make our own water, and I enjoy carving bark. What are you wearing right now? Oh, uh, right now I'm wearing two overalls, and I am... Stacks con- of overalls. Yes, and I'm, I'm confined to my bed. <laughs> and um, I'm also wearing a dickie. Are you listening to anything? Any music? Uh, just a lot of Katie Lang. Perfect. I'm really into her um, album where she sings about the bird wire. This is les- This is. I just said this is lesbians. This is Mateo's lesbian. Yes. His lesbian character. Honestly, you'd probably do pretty well. So now we'll go into what our sex stuff that we're into because let me tell you something. For years, I was killing it in the sex game. Mm-hmm. Killing it. Because it was like... I felt, because, okay, to have good sex, it's like you and the other person. So, obviously, that's how you have sex. But, you, it's like... How how often were you hooking up and how are you finding this? I was I was just like meeting girls and I was like ha- I had like girlfriend after girlfriend and then so I would like usually like start one relationship while I was still in another one. So were you cheating? Cheating is the correct word for it. Yeah, <laughs> that was me trying to skirt around. Well, that. no, wait a minute because I think cheating, it's okay yes. to, to to date casually. No. Okay, so I this wasn't was, doing that. I see. So you were like in a relationship with a woman and then you would say like I love you, we're together forever, but then you were like calling Judy on the side. Yes. Okay. And then, but then I was like. Like I was getting into more like freaky stuff, and that's when I started being with the like the strippers, and I was like, oh my god, I'm killing it with the strippers. I'm killing I it, I'm killing it with the pros. Strippers. Me too. I love strippers. And, and I'm then talk- sex I was workers. just talking to a porn star. Oh, I don't. I what is it about it. that's so attractive? Because besides they, that they're hot. They're because also like they know they're like the strippers were so intuitive to play, and they're seductive. And then also like there's like a real challenge too, because it's like okay, they're charging they're- money for this, and then I'm out here getting it for, for free. free. You feel great. And maybe there's like a fucked up past. Oh, I mean. But sometimes that bothers me. Sometimes, when, like, every time I sit and a guy tries to tell me his coming out story, like, this one guy was, like, Mormon, and he was trying to tell me his was coming out stripper? story. No. But he would be like, well, like, he like he was waiting to tell that story, and we were trying to watch Lord of the Rings and eating Chinese food, and I knew we were going to fuck. And then, you know, you're trying to get into the mood, which is weird when it's like, therefore, we fight together yeah, behind you. Yeah, Lord of the Rings maybe wasn't the best <laughs> choice. But, I mean, we still fucked. But he, he was like, well, I was... Mormon and I had to escape. And part of me wants to be like, I got it. Right. I got it. We get it. He's I got to feel it. Closer. We get it. He wants to feel closer to you. Well, like, I, I'm afraid of intimacy. Right. That's the so problem. So I was like, that's interesting. What's happening in the movie? Right. Back to Lord of the Pass Rings. Pass the soy sauce. Because I, but you meet guys mostly. But So I was meeting people after people. Great sex. But that's then the thing is like, three as a years lesbian, ago, stopped, how, are you, how are you meeting these people? Oh, so, because I was like doing really in Boston when I was in school, I would go back, I'd be in New York, I'd go back to Boston. And then I met some girls online. Tinder, lots of Tinder. See, ten, I'm trying Tinder right now and it just sucks. I met tons of people on Tinder. And then people that I had known from way back that like got into the sex work and someone's like, have you seen Da recently? Now she's a stripper. I'd be like, no, but I'm gonna call her up. And then once you're with one stripper, it opens up to do you other strippers. Do you hang out with a lot of quote unquote straight women? I have more, most of my friends are straight women. I'd say now but I have I'm like... But i is the women that you're having relationships with. No, I'm not into that. I like real... But I feel like your track history shows otherwise. I like ones that look super straight, but then aren't straight. But recently, so yes. So you're just into lipstick lesbians. Yes, but recently I've been with people that are like more straight than gay. But recently my I haven't been killing it in sex at well, all. Are, aren't you in a relationship? Mm-hmm. Okay, well So then that, that one excluded, but in other just, things... You know what? You're just attracted to the thrill. But right now, I'm not killing it in the sex game. I need—I don't know how to, like, or just in You got to re-thrill it up. 
I don't know if it's like my confidence is low in other areas. I don't know what's going on. Well, you're a comedian, so yeah, of course. You, I don't even think you I used and to I be have so confidence. creative. Like, I don't know if this just comes as you get older With the or sex? what. I, oh yeah, I was so creative. I was sex texting all day. Can you imagine? Like, let's say you and I were stuck on an island. We had to procreate. Oh God, what would we do? We would we'd, die. We'd have to procreate. Well, you would build everything for me. Yeah, I wouldn't if we had to. Well, if someone if someone said that we had to procreate for ten million dollars. Actually, I would. I would. If I had to be stuck on an island with anyone, I would love to be stuck on an island with you. That'd be great. I'd even, I kind of want to, would rather do that than some of what I got coming up this month. <laughs> <laughs> if we had to procreate, you'd probably have to come in a cup, and then I guess I'd take the cum and put it on my finger and then put it inside it, my I don't me. think it works that way. So if we were going to have to procreate at an island, you'd have to take the cum and put it on a rock, and then I'd... On a rock? I don't know. Why? Well, if we're on an island, at this point, we've seen each other take a shit, so I You're might right. as well just, like, open up, Emma. No! You you wouldn't be able to keep you an erection. You have a real problem with... Of course not. But you have a real problem with people inserting anything into you. I gotta you. tell you this. Some... I had to get a pap smear. The doctor. I have a guy doctor. He's great. Old guy from, like, I don't even, like... I can't even imagine someone giving you a pap smear. This guy. He... He's great. But we had to have, like, a woman in the room because the guy does it. But I was like, I don't care. Whatever. Do your thing. You're professional. <laughs> He ran, he didn't give me any heads up. He didn't say going in or anything. He just was like, boom. And I was like, Wah! I made that noise in the gyno room. When they room. give you a pap smear, they're taking a stick and they just shove it up your vagina. He, had his, he, had, he was feeling for ovarian cysts. So he took two fingers and then like put, put it in. And in your was, vagina. In the vagina. But how is he going to feel for ovarian cysts? Through He can't go through the cervix. Look, I didn't ask any questions. If anyone's listening and I was molested, please let me know. I I, I really don't think I was, though, because we had a nurse in the room, and he was like, he was like, you need to relax. She was taking copious notes. She was taking pictures. No, she, she had the camera. No, she was just in the room. But I was, he did, and I was like, Ugh! I made a very unattractive noise. If I'm bottoming, and I know that I'm going to be bottoming, and I douche. And I clean everything out down there. I didn't know guys douche their butts. Girl. Girl. I didn't know. That's all enemas at Walgreens are. Listen. There are. You can. Maybe we could get sponsored by enemas. Oh my God. That would be fabulous. Yeah. I would do an ad for an enema. Uh, I didn't. I never had an enema before. Well, I don't think you need it. Well, I went and well, had here's the, the thing, thing is you they... have to empty, they give you disposable enemas and you have to empty it out because it has saline in it. You don't want that in you because then you'll be shitting for hours. You empty it out and fill it with room temperature water and then just squeeze that up there and then, you know, sit in the toilet and maybe do that a couple of times and you're clean and ready to go. I should do that because I've done the colon cleanse because I was just trying to feel the, refreshed. The problem is if you don't get fucked and you're walking around with a clean asshole, I will... It, Listen, it, there's too much power with a clean asshole. And I will I just, at that point, sit in anything with a point or an edge to it. Right. <laughs> because you're just like, it's clean. Right. It's ready to go. <laughs> do you do you know when you first meet someone who's going to be the bottom? Pretty. Sometimes you're surprised. Sometimes if you're both versed, then it's whatever. And then sometimes it's like right away, like, okay, well, he's obviously a top. Or sometimes it's like, oh, I guess I, I'm, I'm a, a pretty bad top. Really? Well, just I, I can top really well if I'm in a relationship with someone, but like the pressure of topping is so great that I bottoming love, is so much easier. I love to hear you say that because I'm always like topping in my relationships and I'm like, yeah, it's a lot. It's 90% more work. 95. Well, it's not, it's not I feel like I'm a movie director. I'm like, all right, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And then move over here and then get over this and get over that. And, da, da, da. and then that's why recently, you know what it is? I'm tired of, I'm just like kind of tired of directing. Well, that, but so you don't, don't like, want anyone to know. insert anything on you. Um, I mean, I would be, I'm, I'm like really open-minded. I'd be down for, you know, oh yeah, I remember we talked about this before. I was like, no way. Yeah, I'd be down for it if it was fun. I had one girlfriend in college who used to strap on on me. And I remember, I think it happened twice. You're going to like this story. It was her idea. And she's like, okay, we're going to do it. And I, she was really feminine, super hot. I was really in love with her. And then smart. She was a great girlfriend. So she was like, I'm going to use a strap on you. And I was like, eh. Only my friend Sophia is able to do that. I was weird. And I feel like I like lied and said I didn't. I don't, it's kind of hazy, but get this. this Emma, is, what? But this is where it gets really weird. This is like lots of years ago. So then she was like, okay, we're going to do that again. I guess she was like. Years later? No, this was, this was right. This was, this happened years ago, but like right after we had sex the first time. Oh, I see, on, I see. She was like, we're going to do that again. And I was like, no. And then I was getting into bed and she was just like, in bed reading. And then I, she like pulled the sheet back really quick and she had the strap on on. She's like, I'm going to get you. And I was like, ah! And we had a bunk bed and I like jumped out of the bunk bed and was running around the apartment and she was running after me like with this like strap on like flopping around. And I was like, no, 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 no. This, this sounds really rapey, but it was like we were like laughing. <laughs> While you're running around the house. Ah! 
I mean, with, okay, so then you don't like being penetrated. Which no. is fine. If you don't like it, then you don't have to like but it. But I remember there was this one girl I was with, she'd always be like, oh, I'm going to suck your dick, but I wouldn't have a strap on and she would go down at me. And then sometimes she would put a finger in me, but it was like kind of like a... It was like a sneak way to do it. I think it's so interesting that topping is feels more vulnerable to you than bottoming. Not vulnerable, harder and more intimidating. Right. That is so interesting to me because I always thought because to I'm me gonna, bottoming I'm gonna, is a scary I'm one. I'm going to like explode right away. That's number one. Totally. I think about that a lot. I'm like, I man, mean, if, if I had a real penis, I'll be I'll come real quick. I just don't. And then I'm like, I, it's too much work. I want tricks on how penis men keep their penis hard. Uh, there's guys who I swear to you just never come. That's crazy. And it's like, well, then what is, how do you, what do you, what is the the thought process? Because, I mean, I have to dig deep in order to keep myself from coming if I'm topping. And, right. And I'm talking like, thinking about, all right, favorite Simpsons episode. You ever think about Le- Liza Minnelli? Well, I just sometimes, l- listen. Just to not come? Uh, or I, would you come quicker? No, in 1954, it was the first time I ever went on a date. I was at a party. I bet you wouldn't come at all if you stayed in this character the whole time. Well, I've, in Studio 54, I I think I came lots of times, but I <laughs> don't remember. I was dizzy. Do guys get mad if you come quick and you're topping? Um, this one guy I had sex with and I came quick and he didn't seem to care. Yeah, because I but would I think- also like apologize. I was like, sorry. Yeah, people, I, like, I love Michael Chase joke about that where he goes compliments to the chef. Have you seen him do that? Yeah. I love that joke. But- because people always be like, oh, the guy came so quick. And I want to be like, yeah, it's probably really hard. Yeah. I mean, it's, I, listen, it's too much pressure. And I can't, there's a lot of men who boast about like, yeah, I can just keep it hard forever and never, I don't know how you do it. If someone so never bottoming, comes. So bottoming, I can. Right. Have you had sex with a man before? Yes. One time. Well, well, we did old? it a couple times. Oh, Mateo, it wasn't good for me. What was it? What, how uh. old were you? Oh, that was two days ago. Did, no. you, did you have long hair ever? I had long hair all through high school and college. I had sex with a guy in high school, but I gave tons of blowjobs to put off the sex. Because I said, I was like, no, I'm waiting till I'm married to have sex, which is insane. I don't know why I was saying that. Yeah, I was like, you don't strike me as a religious. They were like, are you religious? I'm like, no, not at all. Are your parents? <laughs> not in the slightest. I just now really. Now I just got to keep this pussy tight. I just really, I'm going to wait till I'm married. And then... I had sex with this guy when I was like 18 and I had to get wasted and he was really nice, but I hated it. I just remember him on top of me like pumping around and I was like, what is going? I did not like, it was not for me. So did he, did you pretend to come or anything? Maybe. I was so fucked up. Really? Oh, I was like, he was such a nice guy too. Like I had like a lot of like, hey, this was a nice guy. He was such a nice guy. I had a lot of I jockey. can't actually imagine you having sex with a man. I appreciate that. Because... <laughs> It was really... Well, I mean, can you imagine me having sex with a woman? Not really. No, I don't think so. I mean... I would make a woman come by holding up, like, like a 401k above her. But I feel like if a woman came, you'd be so repulsed by it. Like, no, like, I wouldn't be repulsed. What are you doing? I'm not one of these gays who's repulsed by vaginas and women's sexuality. I just don't have sex with women. I don't... Right. I, I, pre- I prefer men. Right. I don't like having sex with women. Do you... Are there any celebrities right now that you think are closeted? Oh, okay, we're gonna go to this yes. game. <laughs> I mean, okay, uh, closeted. Um, I don't know. Will I don't even, Smith. I see. I don't want to get into this. Jada, J Lo. J Lo. Yeah. What are you talking about? I have about? a good authority. You think not that J- good authority. J Lo is not. Listen, I can spot a lesbian. I was surprised too. She is not I a lesbian. I have a really good authority. For who? That Her she, maid? That she's dating, that she was dating someone, she was dating Leah Remy. No! I swear to God. No, she wasn't. They were just good friends. I've heard. Heard from who? Star Magazine? Yes. Lady Bunny? Yes. Who did you hear from? I'll tell you afterwards. But I really, I believe if the If it's source. not from J-Lo herself, then this is... It Listen. isn't. And I'm not the biggest J-Lo fan. I mean, I like her. She works hard. She's stunningly beautiful. She's not the world's greatest singer. Which I appreciate. Uh, you appreciate not good Anybody singers? Anybody that's not that talented at something, but has become no, super she's famous. she's talented. Right. She's, she's a good dancer and actress. And she's a hustler, and she's smart. And she she's, is. Yeah, that I f- appreciate. But Howard if- Stern pointed out that she laughs too much during interviews, and it does now it bothers me. Because no matter what you say, she goes, <laughs> everything. She's nervous. Every- no, I think she thinks it's like cutesy. 
let me tell you my Amy Schumer story. It's not necessarily, but. Is it going to be bad? I no, mean, it's you're, good. It's this like is talking happened. shit about Beyonce. Oh, no, no, no. She was great. She was so nice. She, so I go into the comedy cellar and she's sitting there and it was pretty like empty in the cellar. So I see her right away. She was with a friend and she was just sitting, chilling, eating tater tots. So right away I'm like, oh, awesome. I felt kind of starstruck though, which I had just seen her movie. I just read her book. Love the book. So I saw her and I was like kind of feeling crappy from allergy medicine, but she was sitting with two people. I knew everyone she was sitting with. So I go, I sit down, say hi to them, say hi to her friends. And then she, super chill, no airs about her at all. She was like, oh, are you Emma? And I was like, yeah. And then she was said, hi, I'm Amy. And I got nervous and said, hi, I'm Amy. And she was classy enough. She just kind of went, oh, okay. And then, or maybe, maybe she didn't Did hear. Did you say, sorry, I meant Emma? Mm-mm. Emma, what's wrong with I pre- you? I was so shocked and I pretended it didn't. <laughs> you really are like the absent-minded professor but sometimes. I literally, I've never, the only time I've been like starstruck by someone was Ashanti. And Ashanti. I, it was so fucking random. But other than that, like, no, but it was so, and I was thinking, I was like, okay, there was music in there. Maybe she didn't hear. Cause if no, I, she, she heard. Because I said it the exact, she, it, it seemed like I was making fun of her because I said the exact same volume, the exact same case. Well, I just kind repeated of, her. It's the kind of nerves that I get if I meet a guy and I really, really like him. I exactly. answer questions he didn't ask. Like, he'll be like, hey, and I say, good, thanks. Right. Ex- that's then exactly then, then what like, it was like. How do you like. go back? How do, but, so you both pretended it didn't happen even though yes. you both watched it happen. Because if I, if you said. Have you seen her since? Yes. Did you say hi? This is what happened. So we said hi and then I was like, keep it cool. And then I just started talking to someone else. Like I was almost less friendly than I would have been. So I just started, I'm talking to uh, another comedian and I said, I just was in Puerto Rico. And then she said, Amy Schumer said, oh, I heard there's a lot of Puerto Ricans there. So I was like, haha, laugh at that. It was funny. And then she got up and she was like, all right, good night guys. Have a good night. And I said, have a good day. Fucking bomb Well, it. she probably just thinks that you're mentally ill. That has to be it. Like, but oh, there's, like, there, there's Emma. What am I doing? That's okay. You got nervous. She I must got have, nervous. She has to be used to that because she knows she's famous. And she must be used to it enough that she her. was very generous and did not go, what the fuck? When I said, hi, I'm Amy. Which I, I feel like she would be the kind of person who would. Because she, she, she kind of busts balls. I mean, it seems like it, you know? She. That's why I was like, maybe she thought I said Emma. But she went, because if, sa- if I said, are you Mateo? And, and hi, I, I'm Emma. And, and I you said, said, hi, I am Emma. Then I would have gone, aren't you? I thought well, your name was Mateo. Amy, Emma. I mean, that's a little closer. I mean, I don't know. She seems pretty chill. Did, she didn't say uh, it then? I, yeah. What is she going to say? You idiot. You, you just said my loser. name. You stupid idiot. <laughs> Get her out of here. But now I wonder if I have a crush. Does this mean I have a crush on her? You I, you have to answer that question. Because I got I so know. nervous. No, I think she's just famous and powerful. Right. But I didn't feel, I think there's other people I've met that are famous I didn't feel that way about. Well, do you think she's pretty? Yeah, she's cute. She is. So, there you go. There's kind of something about Next her. Next time you see her, just finger yourself <laughs> and say, Puerto Rico was great. I'm Amy. You know what I was... <laughs> <laughs> see if she catches on. Do you, I was thinking of asking her, I was thinking, because it's a place where she like gets free drinks. I was thinking of being like, can I get you a drink? No. As a joke. No, would that be too weird? Well, you already made it weird with the Emma. I did already make it weird. God damn it. Next time you see her, you say to her, Amy, so good to see you. How are you? Oh, my God. I don't think I could do that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And then be like, I loved your book. No, don't say that. Even though I really mean it? Yeah, don't say it. Okay. You walk up to her and you say, Amy, it's so good to see you. How are you? Oh, my God. Keep it casual. She Listen, she already has adoring fans all over the world. She wants to have one table in the world where she can talk to her peers like normal human beings. Right, right. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'll keep you guys posted. Oh, you have you better report back here next yeah, time. Yeah, I'll say I'll be like, hey Amy, how, hey Amy, good to see you. How are you? Mm-hmm. All right, and well, then I'll fuck it up and be like, good morning, good night, fuck. Emma, we have to close. We this gotta up. wrap it up. How do I? How do we follow you? At Emma Wilman, two L's and two N's. I love Instagram, so please follow me on Instagram. And follow me too, Mateo Lane, two T's. Uh, I'm naked all over my Instagram. You got it. His Instagram is he is look at his picture. You put a lot of work into that body and you gotta behold it on instagram (laughs) i look ridiculous it's great yeah all right well this was a lot of fun thank you so we'll see you next week